going to use Wikipedia to define ionization energy. The definition they provide in the website is pretty long, but I'm only interested in having you focus on what I've highlighted here. The term ionization energy of an atom or molecule is the mineral energy required to remove an electron from an atom. And I stop by highlighting at an atom because we're going to focus our attention on the energy trends, not the particular energy values. The energy trends um, for uh, energy to remove an electron from an atom. Now I'm going to go to the periodic table. and remind you of what we have here. We have metals all in here up until this step. There's some metalloids and all in here to the right of this area here is these are non-metals. Now, you can see the code here, the legend. Um, the trend is the ionization energy is much greater for the nonmetals, particularly the ones further to the right in the periodic table, especially the noble gases. It takes a lot of energy to remove an electron from a noble gas, as opposed to removing electrons from the group 1 metals here, the group 2, or any metal. Just keep that trend in mind, because I want to show you something else that is kind of cool to look at. And it's this, this bar graph, if you will. Keep the image of the periodic table in your mind where the metals are all here, pretty much, in this area here. And what's over here, where I'm circling here where these very high bars are, these are the uh, non-metal. As you can see, as we go further to the left, the energy demand uh, decreases, so it doesn't take that much energy to remove an electron from a metal relative to a non-metal. It's an important trend you want to keep in mind when you're doing some OWL. In fact, I'll do an OWL problem next. I also like to use the periodic table I provided in Blackboard, which is actually a Wikipedia think of periodic table. Um, if you click on properties and then click on ionization energy, first ionization energy, um, it will give you the ionization energy value for a particular element. Again, you don't have to memorize these or know these in any particular reason, but I want you just to see as I scroll across the periodic table how these values change. As I said before, the noble gases have the highest demand or the highest need of energy. Helium is 2,372. As you go down, it decreases slightly. But particularly as you go across, as you go from non-metals into metals, it drops drastically. 700, 600, 640, all the way down here to 400. 